So, you are new to Icarus and you want to know the best way to get exotics. Chances are, you're just like Jeff. Jeff is a low-level character that wants to be rich, but doesn't know how to do it. He doesn't have any fancy tools or knowledge of game mechanics to help him out. Well, Jeff is in luck, because this is the easiest and fastest way to get exotics in the game, and it doesn't require any workshop items. It will have Jeff looking like Arnold in no time. The mission I will be covering is called Deep Vein Extraction, and it is found at the bottom of the mission tree close to the starting missions. I'm going to be showing this mission on a level 4 character just to prove that it is easily accomplished on any stage in the game. I will also be showing a leveled character doing the same run to show how it can be optimized. If you are doing this on a new character, I would highly recommend getting the first workshop pickaxe, a suit with one or two suit module slots, and one or two speed modules for your suit as well. Getting movement speed perks will also greatly help with this run and should be easily accessible on a low level character. If you're playing alone, you can also get an extra 10% movement speed out of the solo perk tree. So now let's start the run. First, if you did bring suit modules, then make sure you equip them. And once you land, pick plants and until you get around 450 fiber to make a full set of cloth armor. This will give you an extra 5% movement speed. For this mission, there will always be watermelon and berry spawns near your dropship. Pick them up and eat them. Watermelons and berries each give a stamina buff, which will help greatly with this mission. Once you have your cloth armor and stamina buffs, you need to decide which route you want to take. The easiest route will take you north, but is much longer. And the harder route will take you south, but is much shorter, I personally recommend the southern route. In this run, I show the southern route, but the northern route is not much different, so if you do decide to take the northern route, you should be just fine doing the exact same thing. Right about now in the run might be a good time to collect a small amount of oxite. 15 to 20 should do for now, but you can always collect more if you decide. At this point in the run, your goal is to make it to the bottom right of K13. This is the entrance to the Arctic. Your cloth armor will keep you from freezing, but you will lose some stamina entering the Arctic. The biggest threat in the Arctic is polar bears. If you don't have the right perks or gear, they are faster than you. They will kill you. It is a two shot from them. It's essential that you sneak past them unless you're sure that you can outrun them. If a polar bear does aggro, then there are a few ways you can try to escape. The first is by weaving through rocks and obstacles. The second is by using a crevasse, which is commonly found in the Arctic. As the polar bears cannot cross them, they'll have to go around the long way, giving you enough time to put a good amount of distance so that they lose aggro. And the third is by hitting escape and using the unstuck function. This should also put enough distance between you and the polar bear for you to escape. Now that you've successfully evaded all of the polar bears, you will find a cave at the top right of O13. This is the cave where you will find your first exotics node. There might be a stone wall blocking the cave's entrance. If that's the case, all you need to do is mine through the wall and you can gain access to the cave. Inside the cave will be at least one cave worm. Sometimes it could be as many as three. Cave worms are relatively weak and can be killed just by using your pickaxe. Once the cave is clear of worms, you can go ahead and mine the first exotic node. Mining the first exotic node will unlock three more optional nodes in total, giving you between 60 and 64 exotics depending on the pickaxe. From the cave entrance, head directly south until you find a crevasse. This crevasse has the second exotics node inside. Once mined, you can use unstuck and it should teleport you closer to the third exotics node. The third exotics node will be on top of a hill. You should be able to see it. Walk up the back of the hill and drop down on top of the exotics node. Once mined, head directly east and there will be a large hole in the ice with the last exotics node. Now that the nodes are mined, you can either use unstuck to teleport back to the drop pod or if you feel like that's kind of cheating, feel free to walk back and take the exact same path you got there from. Note that if you are taking the path back, you do obviously have to avoid polar bears, so it might be worth unstucking, especially if you're a low character. Once back at the drop pod, you will need to put the exotics inside the pod for the mission to complete and for you to get the reward. And that's it. Congratulations. You're on your way to becoming rich. While you're here, don't forget to sub and watch this video covering Icarus's most recent update.